The tenth hole is a 165 yard par 3. Your tee shot plays downhill, but short is the only good miss and there are several slopes to the right and rear of the green. A large green side bunker protects the left side of the hole. This green slopes back to front for the most part, but has some tricky ridges on the back portion of the putting surface. The 11th hole is a 400 yard par 4. A 90 degree dog leg right makes your tee shot critical. Most will elect to hit a shot to the bottom of the hill and then play across Draper Creek with their second shot. However, longer hitters may try to carry the creek off the tee. Your second shot will play uphill and may require extra club. The green has several tricky pin locations, so be sure to leave yourself below the hole. The 12th hole is a 450 yard par 5. Your tee shot needs to find the fairway on this hole, demanding accuracy over distance. Draper Creek requires longer hitters to lay up on this partially blind tee shot. Your second shot will often be from a downhill lie, but playing uphill to the green. Be sure to have enough loft to get off the ground as you will need to get up and over Draper Creek. This green is large and gently slopes back to front. The bunkers left and right of the green can be difficult up and downs. The 13th hole is 145 yard par 3. The tee shot requires you to carry Draper Creek and the wind is often in play, even though you can't feel it standing on the tee. Be sure to take enough club and avoid the bunker to the right side of the green. Par is always a solid score on this tricky little par 3. The 14th hole is a 488 yard par 5. This is a solid par 5 with some decision making built into it. While reachable for the longer hitter with a drive favoring the right side, most golfers will elect to lay up short of Draper Creek with their second shot. This will leave between 100 and 150 yards to a well protected green with bunkers both right and left. All putts work toward the front left portion of the green, so place your approach accordingly. The 15th hole is a 396 yard par 4, the beginning of BCC's aim and corner. While the distance doesn't seem to be intimidating, this hole will give you all you can handle. Your tee shot must navigate some of the largest trees still living on our course, which guard both sides of the fairway. Out of bounds along the entire left side will have you wanting to favor the right. Be sure to take a mandatory free drop off the effigy mounds marked on this hole. Your second shot plays uphill and will require one or two extra clubs. The green is well protected by bunkers right and left and also has a few tricky slopes to deal with. Par is a great score here. The 16th hole is 179 yard par three. One of our longer par threes, this hole requires a shot which carries the hazard. There is plenty of green to give your ball room to stop, but the deep green also makes club selection important to get it close. Swirling winds are sometimes unnoticed from the tee, so be sure to take plenty of club. You may have an opportunity to hit one of your longest putts of the day on this monster green. The 17th hole is a 487 yard par 5. Once again, while the distance isn't overly intimidating, you will need three great shots and a great effort on the green to walk away with a par here. As the final hole of aim and corner, your tee shot will set you up for success with a shot finding the fairway favoring the right side. Your second shot is a layup to the left of the giant silver maple, leaving you between 100 and 150 yards straight uphill to the green. You will want to play your third shot to the front left side of the green as everything will release to the right when it lands. 
Once you get to the green, the fun has just begun, as you will need all your putting prowess to navigate this sloping challenge. Par on this hole is rewarded to the best of golfers. The 18th hole is a 332 yard par four. The opportunity to finish your round with a birdie is always welcome after getting banged up on the 17th hole. Your tee shot will need to avoid the hidden fairway bunkers on the left side. A second shot, which plays slightly uphill to a deep green, will make club selection critical once again. This green slopes back to front, so be sure to leave yourself below the hole and make a solid stroke as you finish up a wonderful day on a wonderful golf course.